well as students across the state prepare to head back to school, DHEC is urging parents to stay up on their vaccinations. Now, students are required to be up to date on certain vaccines to attend school and child care. These requirements include the hepatitis A vaccine for second graders and the chickenpox vaccine for eighth graders. Tenth graders must now have three doses of a polio vaccine with at least one dose received on or after the fourth birthday. DHEC officials say that these vaccines are not new and are one of the most successful public health interventions for reducing disease. And while some vaccines need to be on your back to school list, others do not. News 19's Zoe Henry takes a closer look at what vaccines your child needs. Before heading back to school, most parents check the district list for supplies. For Emma and Heather Hollingsworth, that list is pretty long. Um, just all the school supplies, pencils, pens, pads, new backpack. Lunchbox. But what about the health exclusion list? Does your doctor keep that in check for Yes, you? yes. <laughs> we go for an annual visit every year, so she's up to date and yeah. DHEC releases a list every year for parents to note new shots and transmissible diseases students can be excluded from class for. This year, the list didn't add vaccines, but instead removed a requirement. So as opposed to previously when quarantine was required, um, if you were a close contact, that has been removed um, from this year's uh, school exclusion list. Other exclusion requirements were listed for measles, pink eye, and chicken pox. Chicken pox remains on the list, and exclusion requirements say students must stay home until no new lesions have appeared. Measles requires a symptomatic student to be excluded from class for four days and cannot return until cleared by a health provider. Pink eye requires students with fever and severe eye pain to be excluded from activities. For a full list of exclusions and health requirements, visit WLTX.com. In Columbia, Zoe Henry, News 19, WLTX. Well, DHEC's recent vaccine recommendations for kids come as more monkeypox vaccines will soon be made available. The National Health and Human Services Department announced yesterday that 786,000 new doses of the monkeypox vaccine will soon be distributed across the country. Federal health officials say they will prioritize getting those shots to areas with the greatest number of people at 